Hello everyone, this is Gigi again. Time for story time and I love reading to you. I hope you enjoy looking at the books and listening to the stories. And today's book is dedicated to a little boy named Liam. And this is an old book and an old kind of story. And I'm not implying anything about Liam at all, <laughs> but this book is called Cross Patch, and it's by Helen and Alf Evers. Cross Patch, that's his name. Here is the inside. It's called Cross Patch. You notice something about Cross Patch's face? What about on the on the cover? He looks grumpy. Well, grumpy. I think so. But cross is another way of saying grumpy. Not that kind of cross or that kind of cross. <laughs> I forgot those were back there. But not those kinds of crosses, but their attitude. The big elephant in the zoo wasn't cross. The tall giraffe wasn't cross. The tiger wasn't cross very often. But cross patch the baby lion was always cross. He was cross on Sunday. He was cross on Monday. He was cross on Tuesday. He was cross on Wednesday. He was cross on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Can you see his face? The big elephant had friends. The tall giraffe, giraffe had friends. The tiger had friends too. But poor Crosspatch had no friends at all because he was always cross. Would you want to be around somebody who's grumpy and cross all the time? I sure wouldn't. Sometimes that's me. You get grumpy and cross? I do. And recently, it tends to happen more than I would like because we've all been kind of stuck in the house for a while. On Saturday, dozens of friends visited the big elephant. Hopefully, we can go to the zoo again soon, but it might be a while. But one Saturday, dozens of friends visited the big elephant. Dozens visited the tall giraffe, and dozens visited the tiger. Although they don't show you a picture of the tiger. But no one visited Crosspatch because he was always cross. And that made Crosspatch crosser than on Sunday, crosser than on Monday, crosser than on Tuesday, crosser than on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, all put together for a cross pass. He might have been cross, but I think he was probably sad. Sometimes when I get sad, I get cross too. He was so cross because he didn't have any friends. What did he do? He stamped his foot. He scowled. He howled. He growled. Crosspatch was so cross that he grabbed the end of his tail and he bit it hard. It hurt so much that Crosspatch roared. I don't think it could roar like a real lion. An adult lion. A big lion. Probably what he sounded like. He roared such a loud roar, well, maybe I'm wrong, such a mean roar, such a cross roar, 
course, I have to show you biting its tail. That would hurt. I don't suggest that you try to bite your own tail. Do you have a tail? But he roared such a loud, mean, cross roar that the people in the zoo just couldn't stand being in the same room with Cross Patch. So they all ran away. The big elephant, the tall giraffe, the tiger wanted to run away too. But they couldn't get out because of their cages. Poor animals. But look at what all the people did. They all ran away. And Crosspatch couldn't stand his roaring either. He ran around and around and around, trying to get away from himself, but he couldn't. That's the hardest part about being cross is you can't get away from yourself. When he became too tired to run anymore, Crosspatch knew there was only one way to get away from his crossness. And that was never to be cross again. I don't know if that's possible for humans, but we could sure try. Even when we feel grumpy and cross. Did you notice? He was trying to run around and around and around and he couldn't get away from himself and he decided not to be cross again. <gasps> he has a smile on his face. He's much cuter with a smile. And so are you. I'm not. <laughs> I have a lot of teeth. It just looks like it right now. The next day, no one came to the zoo. The big elephant was lonely, the tall giraffe was lonely, and the tiger was lonely too. But Crosspatch was very lonely because he knew it was all his fault that no one came to the zoo. But the next day, the animal's friends heard that Crosspatch wasn't cross anymore. I wonder what's going to happen. So they came back to the zoo. Dozens of them visited their friend, the big elephant. Dozens visited their friend, the tall giraffe. Dozens visited their friend, the tiger. But hundreds and hundreds visited Crosspatch. He was everybody's friend now. Hooray for Crosspatch, huh? And even the tiger was happy that he, Crosspatch, had friends now. The end. Because the last page is stuck to the book, so I can't turn it. Have a good weekend. Bye.